Hi students! Welcome back to my video. In this video, I will teach you about Unit 9. It will tell us about imagery in poetry. I will give you some explanation about imagery and poetry. First, about simil. What is simil? Simil is when something is compared to other things to give more detail or the description for the reader. Second is alliteration. Alliteration means the same letter or the same beginning sound of two words that next to each other. To know more about it, I will tell you by reading a poem. My mother My mother is like an angel for me. She always be there to help me. Her hands are soft to touch and comfortable to be hot. My mother is like my flashlight when I am scared. My mother is as flower that always blooms. Her smell is beautiful and make my day colorful. You bring brightness to my life. My mother, I want to always be with you. In this poem, I put some similes and alliteration. Let's analyze together. First, about the simile. As I told you before, the simile is something to compare. In this poem, there are some similes. First, in the first line said that my mother is like an angel. It means that my mother compared to be an angel. Second, my mother is like my flashlight. My mother is compared to be the flashlight. The third one, my mother is as a flower. My mother is compared as a flower. There are three females in the poem, My Mother. Now, let's check about alliteration. First, alliteration is from the words my mother because both of these words has the same beginning sound or beginning letter. They both start with M, my mother. Second one, an angel. They both have the same beginning sound a or a ah. next is her hands they both have the beginning sound or the beginning letter start with the letter h or the sound h her hands the next is to touch the same beginning sound or beginning letter t or t the next one is make my start with letter M or beginning sound M and the last one is bring brightness they both uh, start with the same letter sound bring brightness B bring brightness so that's all what I can explain about Simil and alliteration and I give the explanation and also the example how to analyze the simil and alliteration in poem. I hope it can give you more knowledge and help you on your lesson. Thank you and bye-bye.